Elevations are an important part of anyone's drawing in AutoCAD. Today I'm going to be giving you a snippet from our AutoCAD Masterclass and it's going to show you how to do elevations. If you want to learn more and actually do the Masterclass, it's about a three hour course. It is free and it is down in the description. Let's get right into it. What we're going to do here is we're going to start with the front of our structure. So the first thing you want to do is you need your measurements because everything is going to be the same. So we're going to come here. We're going to see that the size of our building is 25 feet, 8 inches from tip to tip. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come. We're going to grab a new line. We're going to do go back to our walls. Go to our wall layer, sorry. Go to polylines. We're going to come all the way over. We're going to click here. And we're going to do 25 feet, 8 inches. So that is the beginning of the front of our building. So the next thing we need to figure out is, well, how tall is our building? Well, I'm assuming our building is probably going to be about, mm, let's do 15 feet tall, just for the sake of ease. So we'll go up 15 feet. We'll go up here 15 feet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come across and 25, 8, the middle part is right here. So then I'm going to take this, I'm going to go up another six or another four feet. I'm going to take my polyline and I'm just going to draw a basic, basic roof. Again, we could get into the math of doing roofs, but we're not going to do that in this video. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're just going to extend this out a little bit by one inch. Oh, it shrunk it by one inch. We're going to pull this back and extend it out. You know what? We'll just leave it for now. We'll grab a line and we'll extend that out. Let's do five inches. Grab this line, extend it out five inches. And then we'll come down. Oh, how, how far down did I go? We're going to copy that over. Come here. We're going to mirror it. We're going to grab it, move, put it there. And there we have it. And we're also going to trim this. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. And that's the basic front of our building. So the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out, okay, well, where's my doors? So we're going to come here. We're going to measure our doors. They are 8 feet 3 and 5 sixteenth of an inch over from the side. So what we're going to do so we're going to find the middle again. Our doors are four foot six. So we're going to go to the middle. Four feet six inches. And then I'm going to draw another line. Four feet six inches. And then I've got my doors there. I'm going to grab a polyline. Oh, I'm also going to switch this to my door. I'm going to get my polyline, go to the corner of my door. My doors should probably be hmm, let's do 8 feet. Line it up, put it down. My layer again did not switch. Doors. And that's our main door. I'm going to go door, polyline, I'm going to go in the middle, you know, just to show that. Um, I'm actually going to switch our door layer from the dotted line to just a solid line, just so it's easier to look at. And that's that. So then, when you're adding detail, we'll get into hatching in a moment. But that's the front of our door. What else is here? Just our door on the walls. So this is, this is the front of our structure. This isn't very detailed. We'll get into that in a minute. So what we're going to want to do now is I encourage you to draw a line from wherever you... Well, actually, no. You know what? We're just going to leave it the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this 
or actually we'll get our walls. We're going to draw a line that is 55 sixteenth, 15 sixteenths of an inch down, like what it was before. And then we're going to grab a line and we're just going to draw this across and we're going to line it up at the top of that, line it here. And then that way our our roof is somewhat you know decent looking. Um, I'm actually going to pull this down just a little bit, just to make it look a little better, and that's it. Um, obviously, you know this isn't you know the best elevation view. It's not fantastic, but it's just get the gist of it. The next thing we're going to want to do is type in hatch. So if you type in hatch, you can come here, and then this will pop up. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to find a hatch that fits with our door. So there's bricks, there's um, you know, different types of wood. We're just going to come down and we're going to find our wood one. You can select a color. I'm just going to, I'm going to make the barn door, I'm going to make it red. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click that. And it's like, okay, well, my hatch looks a little interesting and I want to, I want to adjust the pattern scale. So you can increase the pattern scale by clicking this arrow or typing in what you want. I'm going to make it a little, a little different. So I'm going to go five. Eh, maybe I don't like the wood anyways, but uh, let's see. I kind of like this one. So we'll click that. 10, nah. 15, sure. We can rotate it. I want it to be this way. We'll make it 90 degrees. And there I have my hatching for my door. Now it's difficult to tell the center now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that and I'm going to make it a blue color just so I can tell. So that's our door. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hatch our building. So type in hatch. Come here and we're going to figure out, well, what color, do, what, what do we want our building to be? Let's assume, well, let's, let's do this actually. Let's say we want to have um, for three feet up, we want this to be bricked. Or we want it to be um, rock. Sorry. So we come here, find our rocks. I've got gravel. Click, click. I don't want it to be the door color though. So we're going to make it a more gray. We're going to adjust the hatch to maybe one or even 0.5. Ah, I think one was good. And we're going to click escape and then we've got our rocks. You can see how this is coming together now. And then over here we can hatch the top of our structure. We don't want it all to be rocks. We'll find like a nice uh, A nice one here to, to hatch it with. Now you don't have to hatch everything, but hatching is nice to know. Um, so we'll just go here. We'll find some bricks. We'll click. We got our bricks, but the hatching is way too big. So we're going to go back, make it one. And we want to leave our bricks as red, don't we? And then over here, I want to change this hatching. Maybe I'll make it green. And then this I can turn back into red. And there you have it. So we have our door. We have the front of our house. We have our bricks. Um, again, I don't have any, I don't have capping stones on my bricks. I don't have, you know, anything else. Again, this is just a basic elevation view. Usually you'd have, you know, foundations and everything in this, but, uh, and then you have eaves troughs and stuff. But, um, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to get too into that because we're trying to get you the basics down as quickly as possible. So that's how you hatch. And that's how you do like a front elevation view, for instance. The next thing you do is since we don't have a dimension for this, we can, we can put the dimension up again, never forget to switch layers. I do it all the time. We're going to switch our layer to text. We're going to go dimension. We're going to measure this. We're going to measure this. We're going to measure from here to here. 
And that's, I think, it. That's all we need to do. Well, actually, we need to measure this, too. And that's all we need to do. It's a very basic brick barn. Um, and this is the front elevation. So what you do now is you type text. You get the text going. Front elevation. We're going to scale that a little bit. Fill up. And that's it. And that's our front elevation. 